you know? Every day you live for yourself. You know? People can see your heart condition by how you live your life. You know? People say, you can't judge me, Clay. They say, don't judge me, man. You don't know my heart. I see your heart. You have 50 on the street, man, smoking cigarettes, living for yourself. You know? Right? Ladies, get a track, man. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, man. Come get a DVD. Is there some kind of a costume festival going on here? Know. I see a lot of people dressed up. People are so worried about how they look on the outside. They're so worried about how, how sexy they look, or that they got the cool t-shirt or the cool clothes. But they don't think Brianna, about where they're going no. when they die. They don't think about what God looks on when he sees the heart condition. Right? They're not worried about this inside. They're not worried about inside their mind and their heart. You know, God wants to cleanse you. Cleanse your heart and your mind. Make you a new creation. So that old things pass away and all things be come do. But you love yourself. You're too busy serving you. It's all about you. Every day. Live for you. Consume. Consume. You know? That's why Jesus says, if you love me, you deny yourself. You know, you stop living for you. You know? But you love yourself too much, that's why you reject Jesus. Because you don't want that Jesus. Huh? You love him? What, what did Jesus say? Come tell me one thing Jesus said. Yeah, see, you don't have an answer because you don't even know what Jesus said. And on Judgment Day, you're going to remember it. Oh, look, we got some rebellious people. We got some rebellious people. They want the wages of sin. The sexually immoral will not inherit the kingdom of God. Lesbianism, homosexuality, warmongers, bestiality will all inherit the lake of fire. Hey, too bad. If you don't like it, take it up with God. If you don't like it, you can go and blame God. Guess what? God makes the rules. God's the boss. We need to learn what submission is. Submission is when you submit to your husband or you submit to God. God is like my husband. Sometimes I don't like what God wants me to do, but I do it anyways because I don't want to lose my soul. You know what I'm saying? Some days I don't like what God tells me to do, but too bad for me. I just do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, when God puts it to me and he says, well, look, it's going to either be your soul or you're going to submit to me. Uh, I think I'll submit. I think I'll take submission. You see what I'm saying? But nobody wants to think like that. They think that God just lets them do whatever they want. You know? You know? Like God is your homeboy or something. You know, and we shake our head because we don't understand the, the, how God works. We don't understand justice. You know, if somebody kills your family member, God demands payment for that sin. He doesn't let it go. You know? So if somebody kills someone you love, God is going to get justice on that, that death, on that murder. God is going to get justice. And God already satisfied justice by pouring out His wrath for that sin upon Himself. But when you don't accept the plea bargain, the only thing left to accept is the wrath of God. You see? There's only one mercy deal. There's only one plea bargain. Many religions will have you believe that there's many other ways to get to heaven. There's more mercy in other religions. There's no mercy in any other name. There's no salvation. There's no eternal life in any other name. Buddha can't save you when you die. You can't save you when you die. Muhammad can't save you when you die. Selassie can't save you when you die. Hare Krishna can't save you when you die. All these idols behind Adam here can't save you when you die. Okay? Turn to the living God today. Let God cleanse your heart and your mind. Let God wash you clean from your disobedience. Don't you know about the Bible when the Bible says in the last days that Satan will come to power and he will deceive almost even the elect if it was possible? Satan is going to come like the best six and sliced bread. He's going to come like the best politician that ever lived on the face of the earth. Just like the people chanted for Obama. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And then they follow Obama right off a cliff. Thank you, Satan. You see what Thank I'm you, Satan. Right. Thank you, Satan. That's why we, we're so dumb. We, we yes, we the can. Thank you, the Satan. Politician yes, we the can. Politician. Thank you, Satan. There's only one prime minister. Yes, we can. Is thank you, Satan, backwards. That can fix the heart of yeah. man. 
Yes, we can. 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 Yes